coming up next. Laura Fabian, her dear Lamour. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Alex here, bring you another reaction from our Patreon community and we're talking about Eric Sicard and I again I thank you for being a patron over here. Uh, Eric asked me a song from Lara Fabian, which is a Massimo Ranieri song that I know. I know how he did that song. I never heard this version of Lara. Uh, Perdere l'amore, it's the name, Losing Love. And um, he also said here uh, that I did, if I didn't know that she's half Italian and now she's living in Sicily, yes, I know, I already know that. So thank you, Eric, again for um, your support on Patreon and for asking this song that we are going to react right now. I have, I don't have uh, a lot of reaction with Lara on the channel because uh, I know most of the songs and I'm not a fan of doing, you know, songs that I already know. So I'm trying always to, because it, I, you can do a review, yes, of course, but, you know, I, I prefer to react, I mean, for the first time to something that I don't know. That being said, like the video, subscribe, of course, patron down below, there is the link over there if you want to do the same thing that Eric did and a lot of other patrons that I uh, want to thank for the support because uh, with patron, <laughs> it makes you able to um, go ahead with this channel. So, that being said, let's hear, it's a live from 2000, I guess. Let's go. Good evening, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> I was born in, in Belgium, so therefore a part of me is there. My mom is Italian and I feel Italian for so many things, for food, for clothing, for people, the way I just, the way I live life, I'm very Italian. And then very North American, very Canadian, even Quebecoise, I can really say, because it's the country that welcomed me as a, as a young woman and a, a young woman that had a lot to, um, a lot to dream about and wanted to dream really hard. It's one of the most beautiful songs performed by Massimo Ranieri. I just can hear my mom sing it. Before she starts, I just want to say something. I, I don't know if I'm going to hit it right or not. I guess this performance, it's from the same concert that uh, where she did Je suis malade, which is almost an iconic performance. I already said that in other videos. In that one over there, uh, not only the voice, which is something out of this world, but also the interpretation. She was fully connected with that song. I guess you know what I'm talking about. But uh, I saw the stage, uh, the, the placement of the, the, the guitars and drums, and then her clothing also. So I guess it's the same concert. Adesso. Andate via, voglio restare solo con la malinconia, volare nel suo cielo, non chiesi mai chi eri, perché scegliesti me, e che fino a ieri credevo fossi un re. This is an iconic song here in Italy, so uh, Massimo Ranieri also. But mm, 
the way she does it, like I, I was saying with Jussie Malad, she's she has that ability to connect with the song, you in the performance. I mean, I always when I watch her in in live concert, and especially in this one, uh, not only you are blown away by, by by the voice, but just look at her how she feels that uh, every single word that she's saying and the voice, the control, it's, we already know that. I mean, it's useless to lose time talking about that because she's really, really outstanding. And this is from 2000, wow, 23 years. Comunque, comunque ti capisco e ammetto che sbagliavo Facevo le tue scelte, chissà, ma poi chissà, chissà che pretendevo E adesso che rimane di tutto il tempo insieme Una donna troppo sola che ancora ti vuole bene Per I mean, the thing that I was talking at the beginning, have you seen her? She was like, you know, people are already in standing ovation over there. And she was still, uh, you know, shaking a little bit because she wasn't there in that moment. She was in the song and she does that with every song. And that's something outstanding for an artist, especially in a live concert, because it gives really everything that he or she has in that moment. And this song, um, Massimo Ranieri does it in, in, in a different way, of course, a male version, his version of the song. But uh, the control that Lara has, it's something really outstanding. That's why Dimash also, it's like uh, Eric in his message said about Dimash the same. And uh, Eric said like this, and I was told this is the song that made Dimash an absolute fan about her. This is what 
uh, Eric said. Well, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Every song of Lara may, uh, can make anyone become a fan. And especially at the ending, that control on the same key and then a little vibrato at the end and closing the song in that way. It's really outstanding. If you, didn't, if you don't know the song, the version of Massimo Ranieri, go and check that out also. It's, it's awesome as well. But Lara made it really an on, something outstanding to this song. That's uh, it, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you like it. Um, go and check out Josui Malad as well if you didn't saw that. Other reactions to Lara Fabian on the channel if you want to go and browse that up. Patreon down below, like I said. Eric, again, thank you for the support on Patreon. And uh, like I always say, till next time, stay safe. Coming up next. Henry, Youngblood.